Hello and welcome everybody and thank you for joining me into a quick rundown of what Amazon and Smilegate had to say. I know I'm late to the video and to the party, but I still wanted to make it because I might have some insights that some other people may or may not either share the same sentiment or maybe haven't thought about this. First of all, I'm not going to read the entire article. As usual, the link is going to be found in the description below. Secondly, I think what's really, really, really good is this paragraph here. We made a mistake and now it doesn't really matter if it's Amazon or Smilegate or whoever actually did this decision or, or you know, filed this decision. The important part is here that they acknowledge that this was not the optimal way to progress the game and how they're trying to address this and how they're trying to fix this. And I think this is really good. And at this point, I'd like to thank each and every player who not only kept with us for this long, but also provided constructive feedback, whether it be in Twitch streams, on YouTube videos, in the comment section, uh, in Twitch, like if you tweet it, on the forums, on Reddit, wherever really, we are essentially being heard here, at least to some extent. Obviously, I'm not saying that Smilegate is gonna bend to our will, but what I'm saying is here that we did a thing that most other developers or most other games haven't made so far. As in, we did actually provide valuable or maybe insightful information to both Amazon and Smygate. So they did actually decide or acknowledge that their course of action wasn't the optimal way for our server. And they did understand this and now they're trying to steer kind of against it. Because let's face it, they can't just remove Argos out of the game. Argos is here to stay. So there's that. They can't just take it out now because that would cause even more damage than what's already been done. However, it's important how we're progressing forward and how they are actually planning to at least fix this issue partially. Because that's really all they can do. Other than, you know, promising that they try to better themselves in the future, which I'm sure... I'm fairly certain that they are, because it's in their utmost interest to make the population happy in Lost Ark, so I think in that regard it's really really good that they are acknowledging that, and like I said, thank you everybody for providing the feedback, and I encourage you to keep on voicing your opinions. Now, I'm not talking about the, oh, herp -derp, this game is pay to win, blah blah blah, or herp -derp, this game sucks because it's for no life, or it's not that kind of feedback, but you know, understanding and voicing opinions showing up that there might be problems that things aren't working as they're supposed to be working or just you know any any sort of constructive feedback because this might turn out to better the game for all of us and for all of us i mean for all of us potentially even the players in, on the korean servers but most importantly the players on the western servers so please keep providing the feedback both to amazon and smilegate via whatever social media outlet that you see fit and that you like using. Onto the actual meat and balls, what they're trying to do in order to kind of like circumvent or, or better the situation with the Argos, they are injecting more materials. Now, they are introducing a guardian raid. We had this on Russia. This was, I personally like to call this arcade raid. How this worked, we had three bosses in a row and each, like each kill of a guardian, you got a buff that made you basically Superman. So the first Guardian took like a couple minutes and the, the after that it became even faster and that's probably what they mean to enjoy Guardian raids in a more casual way because they weren't super difficult and it was fun. So I believe that this is the event that we're going to be getting, especially since they're talking about um, all the Guardians that are in there. I feel like this is probably the event. We obviously don't know what kind of vendor this event is going to entail, but at least on Russia, this event was pretty useful. It's one of the better events we had, if not even one of the best events we had on the Russian servers. So I'm content that this event, Guardian, actually might bring some salvation and solution to that. They also are perking up the Arkeza Grand uh, pre-adjustments or event with um, the tailoring and metallurgy books. So these books grant you 10% increase. I highly, like some people have asked me, do you think tier three books will be in this? I don't think so. Tier three books are way too valuable to, for them to hand them out, but you know, there, there is always a slight chance. I really believe it's only gonna be tier one and tier two books, but maybe there's also gonna be tier three books in it. We'll see. Maybe, maybe they actually shower us with that. And lastly, the PvP season is supposed to start in uh, two days from the video now, so hopefully with the Thursday's maintenance. And that also includes the PvP vendor, which is another form of material gain for us. So we're getting essentially two new things and one updated thing. 
So this is definitely going to help. It's not going to fix everything that was... It's not going to fix the damage that was done. But we just have to move forward from this point on. And it sucks because I also missed the first week of Argos. And I'm also one of the people that actually is not riding on the wave. But there's still people that are far more unfortunate than I am. And are far less um, advanced in the game than I am. And I think for those people, these events are really, really good. So I do think that they understand our situation that we're in. And that we're actually, you know, getting some sort of solution. There's one thing, or yeah, I guess there's one thing that I'd like to add. And that is that I don't know how, how should I word this? I believe they don't understand that the European population had troublesome servers for quite a while. So I would enjoy seeing some sort of compensation from them for the European people. It doesn't have to be EU exclusive by, that, by all means, but I think it would be really nice if we would get some kind of, you know, reimbursement. It's not necessarily reimbursement, but some kind of extra stuff, just like EU West has gotten the incentive to move there. Because we were all shafted on the EU central service as well. And NA servers had double boss bonds and double portals for quite a while. We had none of that. So I'm really hoping that they might actually add in something but i feel like they're just gonna let it sink so hopefully smilegate if you see this or anybody please consider giving us a little hand on the eu servers to compensate for the issues that we had lastly we're also gonna get new stuff we're gonna get an entire package we're gonna get a mokoko animal skin so we're gonna get a mokoko pet we are gonna get the pet skins there is no mokoko outfit in this one as far as i can tell um, this one here is the, the the cat thingy. This is the dinosaur, chicken, cow. So we so we had all these, but there's no Mokoko outfit in this, which I'm surprised. But they're probably going to keep this for later. This is a board, and this is a statue for your state. Also, a lot of Fions. This is pretty good, and a, a free appearance change ticket. This is also really nice. Um, I think this is the legendary card experience thing, and two legendary card selections. This is pretty pretty damn good. So they're, they're actually being very generous, and I think they actually realize that there is something that we, you know, might soothe the minds. Overall saying, I think this is really good. I'm happy. I'm really happy that they're acknowledging that there was a mistake made. Because I think this is the first important step. Because a lot of content creators, myself, on Twitch, on YouTube, we voiced a lot of opinions. And we always said, don't release Argos, don't put too much content in there. And then there was the opposite side of people. Oh yeah, but more content is always better. And uh, well, sucks to me that we were right in this case that more content is not always better. Even in MMORPG, there is, you know, the right time and the right place for new content. And Argos was definitely not at the right time. But it is here and we now have to deal with it. But I think... They did understand that the mistakes happened and going forward, they will probably try their utmost best to prevent these and fix the errors they made. Anyways, this is all for today. Thanks everybody. And um, yeah, like I said, two new events coming up in two days. So be prepared for that and enjoy the showering of materials. For those of you who are trying to play the market, be aware of that. There will be marketplace changes. I'm not telling you what I personally think, but I'm telling you that the market is going to go upside down again with those events. So be prepared for that. And for the, the more, you know, advanced market players, they know what's coming up ahead. So, you know, just a heads up. And that's it. Thanks, everybody, for joining. I'll see you guys either on the next videos or on the next stream. You can check out my social media links in the description below. If you like this video, consider sharing it or leaving a like. And I'll see you next time. I'm telling I'm mistaken fact.